I've just climbed to the top of one of the tallest mountains in this area. Look at the view. Look at that, it's so, so far down. And I've come here for this. This is a secret Viet Cong war tunnel. And it's here because of the secret American war against communism in Northern Laos. I'm about to go in this tunnel and explore it, so come with me. Right, here we go. So, this was made, this is at the very top of a mountain, so this has all been made, this has all been made by hand, no machine or anything, all handmade. Honestly, I have no idea what to expect, but let's have a look. So, wow, look at this. You can see the rebarb there, look. This is a door. This is a part of another section. It's actually a room and it's been completely shut off. 145266. You can nearly see in there, but you can't quite get there. And then look, the tunnel goes further. So this is the entrance. This is the entrance here as well. Very, two entrances, very strategic. And then we go in, and now we're going in. Oh, this is very freaky. This is a very intact tunnel. Wow, look, look how it zigzags. Look how it zigzags so that the blast from the bombs, from the American bombs, doesn't go all the way down the tunnel. Wow, this is, whoa. This is a huge tunnel. Wow. Wow, this is so cool. So we've got a bomb blast door here. Look, this is really interesting. This is a blast door. Obviously for the bombs. The door's been taken, taken for scrap. But yeah, the entrance is still here and we're gonna step into it now. So this is an even deeper part of the tunnel. Wow, this tunnel is amazing, it's huge. I hope I don't get lost. Okay, yeah, look, you can see how there was. Oh, what is that? That's some weird bug. Oh, there's some weird bugs in here. Loads of them. Loads of really weird bugs. I didn't even think about that. That's proper. Oh, what's that? Poo, loads of bat poo. But look, you can see here where they've dug out the tunnel, or maybe it was an original tunnel. You can see the water coming through it. See the water droplets. But yeah, this is the original part of the tunnel, whether they've, but yeah, you can see this is part of, this is the actual tunnel. And then what they've done is they've, they've reinforced it with this concrete. Wow. This is kind of freaky to be honest with you. Yeah, it's on really far. Wow. You can just imagine being under here with the bombs, with the bombs going off outside, shaking the place around. Right, what is this? Okay, we've come to a, a room. Oh my God, this is huge. This is, I hope I don't get lost. Look at this. Oh, there's a dead bat there. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Proper little room. Maybe this was the officer's room or maybe the ammunition, probably the ammunition room or something like this. And that you can see, you can see the original cave here. Wow. That's on the top of the tunnel. Wow. Hello? Hello? I honestly had no idea it was this big. 
So it opens up to a larger... Oh my God, this is so freaky. I actually can't believe this. It's, so I've just come from there and it opens up to like a larger um, tunnel area. So this is probably uh, partially a storage place as well. There's a plenty of space there for men or ammunitions to be sleeping or stored. I honestly had no idea it was this big. This is huge. It's a labyrinth. Wow. Wow, look at this. So that's just been broken. And then it gets narrower, even more narrower. Oh, I just saw a bat, I just saw a bat. Holy crap. Can you hear the bats? Flying around. So this is one four slash five, 26 slash six. There's another room in here. Wow, really interesting. This is freaky, really freaky. This is so freaky. Really, really cool though. This is, I've never, I've never, oh, bat, bat. Uh, another room here. So these rooms, are, these rooms here, these are really separated off. They've got like, they've got this concrete, this permanent concrete part here, and you just slide in through here. So I think this is where the ammunition was kept, because this seems to be the safest part. You don't want the ammunition store blowing up. There's one here, and there was one further down there, all the way, maybe a hundred meters down there. And I think that's what that is for, because these don't have, these aren't as protected. So these just look like storage areas for normal, normal equipment, non-explosive equipment. So there's another exit slash entrance here. So I think that's the end of it. So it's just like a tunnel complex that you live in. And you've got your blast doors here. So yeah, this, I'm leaving the central part now. See the blast doors. This looks like some sort of ventilation, air vent. Yeah, that's what that must be. Wow. And here we are, out the other side. And wow, look at that view. Look at that view. Wow. 